hello everyone welcome to this video this is the first video of the radial flux synchronous reluctance motor and permanent magnet assisted synchronous reluctance motor design course and in this video we will review the course objectives in this course we will consider two benchmark induction motors right different ratings the first one is from Siemens and the output power is 0.75 kilowatt and the next one is a 4 kilowatt motor from the ABB and we will try four designs right considering different geometries for the rotor lamination so as you know design of the rotor core of a synchronous reluctance motor is more complex than other motor types so this course is an advanced course and we should do deep optimizations to improve the average torque and reduce the torque repel. As you know, we have various geometries for the rotor core of a synchronous reluctance motor. Yes, we can propose a specified geometry here in this figure. You can see the geometry of flux barrier layers right we have a sequence of segments here we have predefined arcs and here we use the fluid flow concept right to get the maximum saliency ratio and to improve the average torque to get the maximum possible average torque so in the first example we will consider this geometry this is a segmented one right and the aim is to develop a per unit model and using that per unit model optimize the rotor core optimize the design right to satisfy the desired ratings so this is a synchronous reluctance motor and we don't have any magnets right in this structure so here you can see the properties of the benchmark induction motor and we are going to design a counterpart synchronous reluctance motor considering this segmented geometry and compare as you know a synchronous reluctance motor has to this advantage it has a low power factor and if the design is not optimized well it cannot deliver a good average torque so to improve the average torque and torque repel we need to use magnets right ferrite magnets for example to improve the performance characteristics of the motor so in the next example we will add permanent magnets right the rotor geometry the rotor lamination is the same and just we add magnets to improve the performance characteristics of the motor and compare so uh, the example one and example two the benchmark induction motor is the same this is a synchronous reluctance motor and here we add magnets to improve the performance characteristics and compare with the first example in the third example we will consider the same induction motor but the rotor core is designed considering fluid flux barriers right so we will compare this geometry right the saliency ratio for example that we calculate for this rotor core 
and the saliency ratio that we calculated for this rotor core and compare right so uh, we will calculate the field distribution in the MATLAB software inside a solid rotor core and we will use a numerical logic to find geometry of the flux barrier layers and to evaluate the performance of this method right the method that we are generating this rotor geometry we will consider another example another induction motor with a higher output power to evaluate right our procedure so in this course we will study these four examples and this is not an introductory course because we will do deep optimizations to uh, reduce the torque ripple, improve the average torque, and so on. The next few slides of this course are the same as the induction motor design course, and you can review few first videos of the induction motor design course and after that you can continue this course from the next video thanks for watching